Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. This reading is going to hold true ooh, <laughs> from the 20th to the 30th of April. Now, before I explain this card, there is a little poll that I have posted on my community tab and it's going to help not only you guys but me. It's going to help me restructure my readings that will be conducive because I feel like I'm a little all over the place when it comes to dealing with career, love and general energies all in one spread. You may want to just give me a minute of your time, give me your feedback and input because it will help me bring about a better, more conducive pattern here okay we have round and round i will talk about it but first i want to pull your star code oracle that was extremely quick but i will take it sagittarius maybe dealing with the sagittarius or you may have it heavily in your chart round and round this is almost reminding me of that card which says never ending story. I feel like something is repetitive here. Something is a pattern. It is a loop and you're not being able to get out of it. It's like when you look at a hamster running around on its wheel, you're like, why would it do that? Why is it going round and round in circles? Why doesn't it just stop? It's the same thing. I feel like your mind is going round and round in circles about something and it's almost preventing your growth. It could also be a philosophy or an ideology that you may have grown up with. It could be about religion. It could be about politics. It could even be about how you look at love. I feel like it's preventing your mind from expanding. The main energy of Sagittarius is to step back and look at the bigger picture so you can broaden your horizons. If you keep looking at a particular problem, if you keep looking at the details of it in hopes of simplifying it and overcoming it, the more obsessed you will get with it. When you look at an obstacle, if you're up here against it, you can't see the ways around it. You will never be able to get out of it because you're constantly obsessing over it. Take a step back. Stop going round and round in circles. Try and broaden your mind and expand your horizons right here, Virgo. Let's get you three cards for your general energy to start with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. Exactly what I said. I'll get to it in a minute. The Queen of Wands. Beautiful, right under Sagittarius. With the Hierophant and the Nine of Swords, this is the same energy of going round and round in circles in your mind. The Hierophant can talk about ascension. It can talk about initiation, apprenticeship, and then eventually mastery. You're trying to master something. But Einstein said, if you keep repeating the same cycle and the same pattern over and over and over again and expect to see a change you're insane i'm not quoting him directly of course but that is the crux of that statement if you want to let's say become your own boss or let's say you want to get to a higher commitment in your relationship you're repeating a pattern you're going to stay stuck not only mentally, emotionally, your growth will stunt. With the Queen of Wands, get a little more fire in your belly. Get a little more drive and motivation. What brings you that vitality? Ask yourself that. If your relationship is pulling you down, why stay stuck in it? If a career is pulling you down and not helping you expand, why stay stuck in it? I'm almost getting this feeling of you have a laser focus on something and you think that it's helping you, it's helping you grow. Might not be. Have another look-see. Yeah, my God. Okay. The devil. This is round and round energy. This is nine of swords energy. This is being stuck in your head energy of repeating a pattern energy four of pentacles and you're holding on to it you're holding on to this fear almost of change and the hermit exactly virgo her, the hermit is your energy this is extremely conducive 
Okay. The hermit is also a traveler. Considering it's right under Sagittarius, take a solo trip. If you can, go somewhere. Go to the hills, to a body of water. Somewhere you can be alone and you can clearly think. When we, let's say, are looking at a mountain, we just see that mountain, we see nothing else. When we climb to the apex of that mountain, we see an entire vista. You're looking at an obstacle too closely. Take a step back and stop holding on to this fear of change. Change is, is good. Change will help you evolve and expand. Ace of Cups. That's when you can let new opportunities come in for you with the High Priestess as well. The High Priestess can be very quiet. I feel like sometimes being quiet is good. Sometimes being quiet helps, it, it almost <clears throat> removes outside chatter and helps you focus on that one little thing that will help you ascend. With the Ace of Cups, this talks about, of course, pouring a lot of love into yourself. It can also talk about love coming in for you. Let's see. Let's pull three cards for career first. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups and Temperance. There isn't anything right now that you are extremely sure of. You are not... You can't bank upon anything when it comes to your career in terms of, let's say you want to invest your money. No opportunity in front of you looks absolutely safe. And I feel like you are not making any hasty decisions here. You are holding back with the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to your money, time and energy. And you're not wasting it willy-nilly. Till you have clarity. Exactly. Till you see growth, I feel like um, in the past you may have put your eggs in too many baskets and I feel like that not only depleted you, it also didn't bring about too much fruition, didn't bring about too much growth. But now that there's a filtration system in place, you're preventing yourself from going round and round in circles. You are embracing clarity. Only once something looks absolutely sure to you, you're not investing in it. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever wasn't working out in the past. If, let's say, on the career front, somebody was <sighs> making you feel less than you are, you're not letting that get to you anymore. You're embracing your truth. You are protecting yourself. You are protecting your position of authority. The hanged man. Changed perspective. I am almost getting this energy of hurt people hurt people. If you have been hurt on the workplace, if you have been, let's say, taken advantage of, not given enough credit, the people who have mistreated you and misbehaved, it's almost like they are the life lessons and their previous experiences have made them behave like they are behaving now. It is that pattern that is being repeated. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Hanged Man, you're putting an end to it. Some of you may even uh, be parts of generational businesses. There may be a legacy that was left for you to pick up. There could be a family business that you are heading now. And I feel like whatever was done in the past, let's say whatever your ancestors, whatever your family was, however they were conducting themselves in this particular place of work, it may not have been conducive to the growth of this business. So you're stepping out of that box and almost bringing about a fresh perspective, an eccentric even perspective to break that trauma bond. You know what I mean? And that is what is bringing about growth with the sun card beautiful all right let's get to love oh my goodness we have the magician we have the seven of wands we have the page of cups and we have the seven of swords very diluted energy 
I feel like this pattern that you are repeating could apply to love as well. Um, there is almost a sense of wanting to one up each other, and if you can't one up each other, you just walk away. It's a very strange energy. Walking on eggshells around each other. It's a very childish energy here. I think you've given your power away. Three of cups and the two of cups. From a very close bond, this may have turned into a poor excuse for a relationship. It's possible. That you're just together for the heck of it because, well, we're together. I don't see any depth here. The Two of Cups does talk about a soulmate union. It's not like it's disappeared. But I feel like all whatever conflicts and arguments you may be having with your significant other, this pattern that you're repeating over and over again, you're almost sick of it. Eight of Cups. Walking away from whatever depletes you of your power, of your strength. I told you there was potential with the Ten of Pentacles. I think this is just, just a little hiccup that you're dealing with. But till you shift your perspective and till you expand your horizons, you are going to stay stuck in this loop. Yeah, I mean, if you keep holding on to this pain, you will firstly make rash decisions, if at all make any decisions with the two of pentacles i'm getting a very reckless energy here it's it's that energy of i need to do something anything and then you go and do something stupid there's a rebellious sort of energy here because you're not seeing growth you're, you're tired i'm getting a very frustrated energy from this spread i'm sorry the king of wands, the king and the queen of wands right here. Go back to what lit that fire in this relationship. Go back to it. You, you're together for a reason, right? You're not together to just bicker and argue and debate. You're together because you love each other. Go back to that love. Where is it? Where is that passion? Are you going to just call it a day and say well this is my relationship this is the pain that i have to deal with on a daily basis no two of wands two of pentacles why is this even a decision why are you stuck in your head the empress this is not helping you grow virgo like that spark isn't there it's dying to come out but it's just being suppressed with arguments and conflict and my horse is bigger than your horse the potential for this to grow is there ten of pentacles and the empress bring the fire back what brought you closer together when you first got together build on that you know Six of Wands, bottom of the deck. We will see success here eventually. I feel like this person will be able to see you in the same light that you want them to. Not till you expand your mind. You're in a loop. Get out of it. Or you will not be able to grow within this relationship or without it. Okay. That was your reading, Virgo. It was a little harsh, I'm sorry, but it's just a 10-day forecast. I'm pretty sure your next reading will be a little lighter. And enjoy the rest of April. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.